Hare Krishna everyone. My humble obeisances to Sri Laguru Dev, Sri Gauranga and to all the Vaishnavas. So today I am here to share my realization about my japa, my chanting. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my realization. So my Krishna conscious journey started back in 2011 when fortunately I being introduced to Bhakti Viksha in East London and in association of Bhakti Viksha's devotee I come to know about the japa and the chanting and I came to learn that how it cleans our heart and how it connects us to Krishna but as normally like as other devotees uh, I have like same lifestyle and same excuse I would say that I don't have time to chant so somehow or other it being inserted I would say in my lifestyle of a mom and a working woman so I started my japa like uh, I wouldn't say it's japa I just uh, you know start uh, uttering the holy names uh, by lip syncing while I was doing my work and coming back from my work. I done it like almost for a year and uh, it was initial stage for me so I have no realization either I didn't understand the importance of the holy name but as we all keep hearing the power of the holy name that whether we chant it knowingly and unknowingly it keeps working on us and I continue my prayers to Krishna that you know I like this japa I like chanting but I don't know how can I do it regularly and especially in morning as you know recommended by senior Vaishnavas somehow or other way I was chanting but still I was struggling to chant in morning and then uh, one very you know, fortunate day one Swami or Maharaj came and I given a small little service to serve him and after that service I feel really fulfilled that oh I saw the Vaishnava, I saw the Sarnyasi but then at the back of mind is still there that I couldn't do much because I was not chanting 16 rounds and I was not chanting properly then I understood that the cleanliness cleanliness when I say cleanliness it's very important cleanliness of our heart because actually we not on the stage where we have you know that uh, purity to serve Krishna but still Krishna and Vaishnavas keep giving us opportunity to serve them which is our fortune I would say and that was I think maybe just sincere prayer, prayers of mine but not the good japa or not the good mood of japa but still I given that chance and then from that point I decided I will chant in morning and I started chanting morning and then in two years time in 2013 I given chance to serve as a servant leader of Bhakti Vriksha by his grace Yogeshwar Prabhu and our seniors his grace Arvind Krishna Prabhu and her grace Yamneshwari Mataji and then I put the situation that I have to tell people that we should chant every day and then as I heard from my seniors again that you know when we tell others it is the our years first that we listen so I put in that situation and I felt yes if I'm telling others definitely I should you know do first as Prabhupada said practice and preach and when we don't practice and preach it's not happening believe me so I took up the service of Bhakti Vriksha and then I get understand more and more about the connection of chanting and services so actually you know when we chanting we actually asking Krishna that please you know please accept me in your service but do we really want it you know then when service is coming up and I was feeling bliss 
and then I start realizing that yes, it's both ways. Like we chanting and we, sorry, we having services opportunity, and then we are having the association of devotee. But still, my journey was bit struggle struggle only, and somehow or other way, we start chanting in morning. But still, it was going up and down. But I really remember. the days when i chant properly and i got opportunity to serve what i want to serve the way um i don't remember the exact years but um i think maybe 2017 or some so um my dear shila gurudev shri uh, his holiness bak um, sorry his holiness jay pataka swami maharaj came to birmingham for paniyati festival and somehow i got opportunity to serve Shri Shri Jagannath Baladev Subhadra me at my home because they came to me from Byron Avenue because Arvind Krishna Prabhu and Yamuna Shri Mata Ji has to go to Birmingham to uh, Sau Shri La Guru Dev. So I was chanting to Jagannath that oh you know I want to offer you Raj Bhoga, but it was not it didn't happen like in two three days uh, Arvind Krishna Prabhu and Yamuna Shri Mata Ji came back to London and Jagannath has to go. and i never got chance to serve them rajpur and when they were going i was you know i was really crying that oh you know i didn't get chance because i was running here and there and i didn't get chance to serve you rajpur and that evening again arvin prabhu told me that oh you're taking jagannath back to you and you know that that morning also i was chanting and i was praying to jagannath i really want to serve you rajpur so he did listen believe me when you chant when your sincerity is there in chanting krishna do listen and do the sacred to your prayers and the same year even i was not initiated but his only na jay pataka swami maharaj guru maharaj came to is london and all the devotees were cooking for him and it was my you know really deep desire that if i could be a part of cooking team that i could you know cook for him and uh, i think jagannath again inspire yamneshwari mata ji and mata ji include me that mata ji can you make paneer for guru maharaj and i was so happy and that i was thanking krishna that oh i got that chance also without taking initiation so it it is pure mercy pure blessings of gurus and vaishnavas when you chant they will reciprocate believe me so i would say personally it won't happen that you just chant asking for services and then service come to you and then somehow or other way unfortunately if we have to deny then you losing that taste in chanting you losing the opportunity of service so it's go hand in hand chanting service chanting service and lots of blessings as well which can help you because i remember back in 2016 also i went to mayapur Uh, that is also another fortunate uh, blessings for me from vaishnavas of his london that i could go to mayapur with devotees and i was discussing with one of very senior vaishnava there he is a brajwasi and i was just desiring my uh, i was expressing my desire that you know i i want to you know i want to take initiation but i don't know i cannot maybe i cannot i cannot justify the title if it is given to me devi das i am not feeling like servant i have so much impurity in my in me it will not happen i cannot take it i should not take it actually but then that senior vaishnava wonderfully explained to me that mata ji we will not be ever uh, eligible for that it's only mercy of guru and krishna and gauranga that you know we can take that chance and we should not lose that chance so the finally the day come that you know i could m- make myself ready for initiation and initiation means really i really want to start my journey on my krishna conscious path so it was september 2017 when i was to go to for initiation at bhakti vedant manor and then that day also in morning yeah before that i would like to share the importance of chanting in brahma murata or the early morning because when we not giving priority to holy name or to krishna we not getting any reciprocation 
so that was my deep desire since years like you know i should chant in morning i should chant in morning and then devotee come up with the idea of the zoom morning chanting where we can be at home and same time we taking association and looking forward that devotees are chanting in morning i should chant as well i would i want to chant with devotees so that come up since like i think 2 3 years now and every morning even though i'm working and i'm starting my job at 7:15 in the morning but i make sure that i chant maximum round i can to whatever 12 time 12 round i can chant before 7 and go get ready and do my puja and go to work but that's makes i mean very vast change in my day to day work life which is all side thing i would say all this peace and calmness we can manage at work very efficiently but the main thing is we are connecting we are getting more and more service so when i started that things chanting chanting and going to work before and you know you won't believe what's what what the starting of my job what is the starting of my job i go to avantikot primary school and then my first ta- task of the job that i go to shri shri nitai gaurajendra i wake them up i do aarti for them and i start cooking for them what else can you get as your job so that's really really you know important that when you do chanting krishna will reciprocate and it happens lot time in my life i do got lots of blessings and lots of fortunate opportunity just by my little endeavor of chanting i am not saying i'm still chanting in a good mood but even the you know my heart is that i want to chant and krishna reciprocating and come back to my initiation day as well that uh, this is happening now i'm doing the deity service at avantikot primary school but i was not doing it before my initiation which is the september 20th 2017 but that day i mean i was not doing that service because i was not initiated and it was ekadashi day i remember so i chanted my round in morning and went to school and asking blessings from shri shinita gaur chandra that please bless me i am going for my initiation and i really want to be on this path and i want to please my guru and vaishnavas so that day the other devotee senior devotee the initiated devotee from the school came up and offered me mata ji can you do the aarti for nitai gorachandra i said prabhu i should not do it i am not in, initiated it and he said you are going for it so better you start preparing for that and get blessings from shri shri nitai gorachandra believe me i was in tears i was doing aarti for them but i was in tears that how come you accept me you know the, I, i still haven't started you know but still you showing that mercy upon me that i was doing aarti and i was crying that please please you know shower blessing upon me that i can you know maintain on this path and i can fulfill and i can you know fulfill the desires of guru and gauranga and my senior vaishnavas and i can serve them life long as i want to start my journey as i'm starting i'm taking initiation and can i justify the title given to me which is devi dasi and till today the day every morning you know i chant that you know let my all ego and false ego go down and let me serve in a you humble way to all my senior vaishnavas so that was a small realization some small realization from my end but that's lot which i cannot share in a small clip but i would say when we chanting and we praying krishna to service and blessing when it come to our way the blessing and service i would say blessing in the terms of service if we keep denying then we cannot develop taste in our chanting so it goes hand in hand when we are asking it's coming we should accept and we should take it as a blessing and that enhance the taste of our chanting which i can realize uh, in little uh, amount so far but again i will pray to all of you that please you know keep uh, pr- uh, praying for me and bless me that you know i can chant in better mood and i can serve krishna in a better mood and i serve all the vaishnavas in a good mood in a humble mood thank you so much hari krishna hari hari bol